contaminated so many shows. Richmond mothers Marilyn Olds and Tanya Williams say they've both been impacted by violence that's occurred in Richmond's public housing communities. We had no strength to walk, to talk. All we could do was pray and hope. Williams' daughter was killed by gun violence in May of 2022. Every morning I wake up and I cry to start my day. So how would you feel if you woke up like this every morning? And Olds, living in a RRHA property for most of her life, says she's witnessed countless funerals caused by unnecessary violence. The cemetery is across the street from where I live. And you actually get in my window and just look at all the stones and I would cry. Both women spoke at a press conference Thursday morning held by the Richmond Redevelopment and Housing Authority. So you got to give the people hope. You got to give the people encouragement. You got to give them something to strive for. It's very personal to me having grown up in public housing myself and that is uh, a package a holistic pageant. CEO of RRHA Stephen Nesmith says the package has three major components. Okay, the first like? being mental health resources. Um, provide more uh, uh, health, uh, funding, provide more services for our public housing residents who say, I just need to, to get that capacity. I need to deal with the stuff to, to get on the road of self-sufficiency and take advantage of those opportunities. The second part being job training for youth and adult residents. And the last new addition being new services from Century Force Security, a private firm also providing services in Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority. I want the residents to say, you may have been trained to do what you do, but you don't know how to patrol our communities. We will tell you where we want you and we want where we don't want you. He says security will patrol every day from the hours of 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. We will, we will change up the patrolling based on looking at statistics, and listening to residents. Old says while she's glad to see the plan also includes de-escalation training, she feels the root in making real change lies heavily on the mental health resources. But if you got people that's mentally not balanced, going through their own personal chaos and their own problems with thoughts, mental health and physical health, then they're not able to even to come aboard to join this. She says she hopes to see RHA make good to their promises and that residents take advantage of the new program. Residents have been built up over the years and they've been let down too many times. So it's time for them. If you can't do it, don't say it. Services by Century Force Community have already started in each of the housing communities. The mental health and job training resources are set to be available in November. To learn more about the upcoming meetings as well as the resources available, you can visit the RRHA website. We'll have that link on our website at WTVR.com. In Richmond, I'm Joy Fultz for CBS 6 News.